The people in Red Rock are not aware of how bad the asthma rate is in the community. Asthma is a problem because we have the highest childhood rate in the Allegheny County. Many people don't know anything about how asthma is caused and how many things can trigger your asthma. The cause of asthma can be first, second, or third hand smoke. There's a huge population of third hand smoke. Yeah, I had a roommate in college who had asthma really bad. Um, if you sprayed hairspray in the room, um, any type of body spray. Kimmy felt guilty because she caused the asthma attack by spraying hairspray in the room and she did not know that hairspray can trigger asthma. Yeah, it was just really scary because you feel guilty because it's like, you know, you don't know to take that precaution, you know, it's something so simple as spraying body spray and like, you know, she wasn't even in the room when I sprayed it. She came back into the room, you know, like 10, 15 minutes later and it sent her in the room. So like you feel guilty and it's scary. Mm -hmm. Asthma is important because many people don't know what to do if they just saw a stranger having an asthma attack. I wouldn't know what to do. Asthma can affect you even though that you don't have asthma. Kimmy's friend was temporarily paralyzed just from the smell of hairspray and from the seizure caused by her asthma attack. Um, it was really, really scary. Um, she spent a couple days in the hospital and was actually um, temporarily paralyzed from the seizures. Many people should know how to treat asthma. When you're sick, your asthma will kick in and you will start wheezing and gasping for air. Third hand smoke causes problems with asthma too. When you stay active, it is good when you have asthma because it's an easier way for you to go out of asthma. It's very, very important. Um, in the old days, what happened is most people with asthma didn't, they thought you had to stay in the house and do nothing, but um, it's proven that you really need to exercise and um, try to, uh, you know, bike or swim or whatever you can do to keep yourself active, as active as you can. And so what a lot of times what people do is they'll use their inhaler before they, 15 minutes before they go and do something, and then this way they, you know, their activity can usually be um, handled. And, um, there are many things that can trigger your asthma, and one of those things is weather. Because it is either too hot or too cold. Another one is food. You have to see the doctor and take a test to see what you can or cannot eat. Because of their food additives, where you have to actually, um, you know, so they go and have asthma testing to see what foods bother them and what they, what they, you know, what they can take and not take.